Welcome to Classic Country News. Y'all, I got a couple of things to tell you about today. Uh, and I, I was so happy to find this on the internet last night. Y'all, my favorite country singer of all times, Bill Anderson. I found some stuff on him last night and I'm going to share that with you. But first I want to tell you about the Bellamy Brothers. Y'all, I've seen the Bell, Bellamy Brothers uh, in concert one time. They came to Pensacola, Florida with Johnny Paycheck. Well, at the time, you know, I liked the Bellamy Brothers music at the time, but it didn't stick in my, stick out in my memory or head that much until I seen them in person. Man, that was one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. It was just like listening to their records. I mean, most of their hits was probably 20 years old or better, but they still sound exactly like the record. And for them to be able to do that, that just tells me that they naturally sound good. They don't need all these mixers and uh, sound machines to make them sound good like they use today for all these no talent country stars that we have today. Back then, you had to sound good because that kind of stuff wasn't around then. But uh, I was happy to see that the Bellamy Brothers has got a new record out. It's No Music for Old Men is the name of it, and it's featuring John Anderson. Y'all, if y'all have not heard that song or seen the video, it's on YouTube. Go check it out. It is freaking awesome. Uh, it did kind of hurt a little bit seeing the Bellamy Brothers. Howard, the older one, he really hadn't aged that much. He still looks the same. But David Bellamy, the younger one, oh my goodness, he looks so old. It really hurts me to see these people get old. I know everybody gets old. I'm getting old. But to see these people that I've loved all these years to get old, it, it really hurts. But uh, they still have that Bellamy Brothers sound. They still can do it. Y'all go check it out. Uh, the name of the song again is The Bellamy Brothers, No Music for Old Men. It is awesome, and it's true to the point. There is no music for older people today. Okay, Bill Anderson. Y'all, I love Bill Anderson. And uh, I went on his website last night. Uh, he's got a new song, and it's a really upbeat song. Y'all, it is great. Check it out. You can go to his website, his official website. It's there. Or I'm sure it's on YouTube also. But the name of it is, is uh, it's a great day to have a great day. It is freaking awesome too. Y'all, I've always loved Bill Anderson. And I've always loved singing his music. Out of every, all the songs that I sing, all the stars that I sing their music, Bill Anderson is my favorite star to sing his music. I love singing his songs. Of course, I can't do it the way he does. There's only one Bill Anderson, and I love him so much. But, uh, y'all, he, I mean, I had a, uh, a brief encounter with a whispering guy uh, a few years back. It was probably 1981, 82, something like that. I had got a job at Po Folks Restaurant. Uh, they just opened a new one in Pensacola and I was part of the opening crew. I was a line cook of the Fry Guy. Well, Bill Anderson was their spokesperson at the time. He came to the grand opening and while he was there, he walked through the kitchen and shook everybody's hands that was working in the kitchen and just said a few words to them. I, I'll never forget when he shook my hand. It was like I looked up to him. I had no idea he was that tall. And I'm six foot even, so he was a he was a few inches taller than me. I don't know exactly how tall he was, but I was looking up at him. But I'll never forget the smile on his face when he shook my hand. I mean, what more can I say? I love Bill Anderson. Uh, but that's a memory that will always stick out in my head. 
uh, you know, like I said, out of everybody that I sing their music, Bill Anderson is my all-time favorite to sing. And again, just like the Bellamy Brothers, he's getting old and it hurts to see him get old. But I guess we all do it, right? Getting old sucks. Uh, but, y'all, there... These these stars like the Bellamy Brothers, Bill Anderson, they're still recording. They sound just as good as they ever did. I mean, people are still wanting their music. They go to their website. They go to places like YouTube to get their web their music. We could be hearing their music on the radio if it wasn't for all the record executives in Nashville stifling it. They don't see it as a money-making opportunity. They're only in it for the money. Well, these stars, they're in it for the love of the music. And it shows. I mean, look at all these stars that comes in today. And just a few years later, they're gone. You never hear, them, uh, hear from them again. Bill Anderson started, what, in the late 50s? He's still around kicking today? That must tell you people wants that kind of music. Y'all. Help me keep country music alive. And the way we can do that is subscribing to channels like this. I know there's a lot of other channels out there with country music that's a lot better than mine. But the more that we can spread the word about good country music, the more it's going to stay alive. Y'all be sure and check out my trivia videos here on this channel. It's something we've just started. We will be doing trivia videos maybe twice a week. I uh, hope y'all like it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's all classic country music. Y'all, I love you all. Until next time, let's keep it country, y'all. Ciao.